It's time for another scholarship video. Some of you guys have been coming into my DMs on both Facebook and Instagram asking me to do another scholarship video so here we are. In this video we're going to go through 16 fully funded and partially funded international scholarships for the year 2022 to 2023. We're already towards the end of the year so many deadlines have passed but don't worry I got you. These scholarships still have some time before the deadline closes so you better get on it ASAP. I don't want to make this video too long so I will be splitting it into two parts. If you'd like to see more videos like this please like this video and give it a big fat thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new videos. Before we get started a gentle reminder as always please do your own additional research before applying or making decisions about any of the content shared in this video. The first scholarship that we're going to take a look at is from the University of Montreal in Canada. They recently opened their scholarship applications. They really do not want to miss out on this opportunity. They're offering fully funded scholarships for all degree levels for various programs. So you have to check if the program that you want to study is available. They currently have an acceptance rate of around 57%. And Canada already has one of the highest foreign student population in the world, which actually gives you a lot of hope. Their website is in French, so if you can't read French or if you can't read French, you'll have to translate the website to English using Google Translate. The deadline for this particular scholarship is on the 1st of February 2022 for the first semester. Then the second intake is on the 1st of September 2022. So you need to take note which of the two deadlines that you'd like to meet. The program, like I said, is for all degree levels across different faculties, and this is a fully funded scholarship. So you'll get full tuition, accommodation, monthly allowance, travel, books, and even medical aid. This scholarship is open to students from all over the world, so anyone from any country can apply. They do have an interactive online checklist, which you can use first before you apply. It lets you know if you meet the criteria and gives you a guide of what you need to have in order to qualify for the scholarship. The most important thing about applying for the University of Montreal scholarship is that as an international student, you have to allow for about three to six months to complete all the formalities required to study in Canada. This is because of the visa processes associated with having to move and study there. If the processes are not done in time, that is your visa process. If it is not done in time before the semester begins, you might actually lose your scholarship. This means that you'd have to reapply again and go through the same application process, then wait for the next semester. Wilds Mountain is an organization that helps students in developing countries to study either in their local countries or even abroad. So 13 Wilds Mountain fellowships, which are like offices, have already been established in Ghana, Kenya, Liberia, Malawi, Mexico, Nepal, Nigeria, Rwanda, Sierra Leone, South Sudan, Uganda, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. If you're from one of those countries or any of those nations, please just reach out to them. You never know. Reach out to one of the current leaders and introduce yourself. Students from almost any country can apply for this, so anyone has a shot and you can apply to any university in the world. All you have to do is just make sure that you get the scholarship. The deadline for the Wells Mountain Fellowship is on the 1st of March 2022 and they are supporting programs from high school, diplomas and your bachelors. So they do have both a fully funded and partially funded option. So you need to take note of that when you're making your application. And for the fully funded, the perks include full tuition, accommodation, monthly allowance, exam fees, travel, books, and of course medical aid. Another basic requirement for this particular scholarship is that you need to be below the age of 35 years and the university that you're applying to must be in your country or any other country in the developing world. Next on the list we have full rights scholarships from the United States of America. Even though these are probably one of the most difficult to get, they are worth the effort. There are different types of full rights scholarships in the USA and some of them are merit-based where they look at your weighted GPA, your test scores, your class rank, and your ACT scores. And then they have need-based full ride scholarships, which means that you're probably coming from a disadvantaged background. And then they also have sports-based scholarships. And these are for the top players in various sports, such as basketball, volleyball, soccer, or tennis. There are more types of full ride scholarships that I haven't mentioned in this video. So it'd be good for you to just do a bit more research around them. So for the full ride scholarships, you can apply to at least 80 universities that are participating and they are all in the USA across different states. The opening date was on the 29th of September 2021 and the deadline depends on the university that you want to apply to. The programs that they're supporting are for bachelors and masters only and it is a fully funded scholarship. Just to give you a heads up, some of the participating universities are the University of Chicago, 
Duke University, Washington University, California Institute of Technology, the University of California, and the University of Virginia. So you do have quite a number of options to choose from. And remember, these are not the only universities that are participating. Like I said, there are at least 80 universities that are participating in this. The University of Alberta is one of the top universities in Canada. The University of Alberta is one of the top universities in Canada. Applications are open to foreign students from all over the world, and they recently opened on the 1st of October 2021. The best thing about the University of Alberta scholarship is that you don't necessarily need any English proficiency test, but this is however dependent on your home country. Some nationalities will be required to take English tests. The deadline is on the 12th of January 2022, and the scholarships are only available for undergraduate programs. This is a fully funded scholarship, so you will get full tuition. And the other basic requirements are that you need to have a high school certificate or a diploma, and the average grade requirement is really dependent on the faculty. So you will find out when you then go on the website to apply. If you'd like to study in China, the Chinese Alliance of International Science Organizations, also known as the ANSO Scholarship, recently opened in September for those who'd like to study master's and PhD degrees in the fields of science and technology. So the participating universities are the University of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, which is UCAS, and USTC, which is the University of Science and Technology, of China. The deadline for this scholarship is on the 31st of March 2022 and like I said it's for masters and PhD program. This is a fully funded scholarship so they will cover your monthly allowance, travel, accommodation, tuition, books, medical aid, insurance and the basic requirements are that these are only open to international students and they will require a language test for either Chinese or English. You have to be below the age of 30 to apply and 35 and above for those who want to study a PhD program. If you'd like to study for free in Australia, then you need to apply for the Australian Award Scholarships. Not all nationalities can apply for these as they are mainly open to partner countries that have bilateral and regional agreements with Australia. These scholarships are only open to people from a selected 26 developing countries in Asia and the Pacific. You can find the list of participating countries on their web. So you can apply to various universities that are in Australia. The opening date is in February, March 2022, and they have not yet communicated on a deadline. And the programs that they're supporting are only for bachelor's degrees. And the perks include your full tuition, your accommodation, monthly allowance, travel and books. There is no medical insurance for this particular scholarship. The University of Debrecen in Hungary is offering fully funded scholarships as part of the Stipendium Hungaricum Scholarship. They boast an amazing 2,000 international students from 60 countries through the scholarship program. The opening date is in November 2021, but they've not communicated on a particular or specific date. So you need to register to get notifications. You register on their platform and they've also not communicated a deadline. I guess that's why they're also insisting that you first register on their platform. They are providing scholarships for master's and bachelor's degrees across different disciplines, including medicine, dentistry and pharmacy which is not something that you also usually get. So this is not just for medicine, dentistry and pharmacy, but for other disciplines as well. The perks include a 100% tuition waiver, living allowance, textbooks, travel and health insurance. One of the key requirements is that you will require medical certificates and you need to make sure that you also take part in your English test. So you need to prepare for your health and you must be 18 years and above by August 2022. Each year, Yale University offers scholarships to all the students regardless of nationality. To qualify, you need to apply for a program at Yale University and be accepted. It is considered to be one of the most prestigious universities. They are known to be very generous as approximately 63% of students, both local and international, receive some sort of financial support to complete their studies. So Yale University is within the United States of America and their opening date was actually on the 1st of February in 2021. And right now their deadline is on the 19th of November, 2021. Their scholarship are covering bachelor's degrees, master's degrees and PhDs. This is a fully funded scholarship. The perks include travel, medical aid, full tuition, living allowance and textbooks. So to qualify for the Yale scholarships, you need to make sure that you are demonstrating a financial need. So they will evaluate your background and your parents' income. And you also need to take English tests. If you miss the deadline, your provisional award information may arrive after your admissions decision. But you know what? It doesn't really affect because however, you're still going to be eligible to apply for financial aid. 
and your award will not be reduced or affected because of late submission, which is awesome. The best thing is just to apply early and as soon as possible so that you know before you start your program if you're going to receive financial support or not. <music>